All right, I did some uh, research online, and I went through my uh, photographs of uh, Indian models that I've had in the past. This is from about, um, gosh, it must have been about two, early 2000s that I had this uh, young crow girl, crow Indian girl and gentleman pose for me. And that's a Cheyenne, Southern Cheyenne dress. And that's the kind of dress I think I'm going to put on my figure. I found this uh, picture online of a young uh, modern day Native American girl dancing with a blanket. I'm not going to have her dancing with a blanket. And I just focused in on her face for the hairstyle. I don't know if I'm going to have it braided or if I'm going to have it... Uh, flowing. I don't know yet. You're going to have to figure that out when time comes. Also, I like the structure of her face as well. Time to play with some clay. It's thundering outside and hoping that the uh, power doesn't go out, which it sometimes does when it rains or thunders or both. I'm going to put the blanket on first, but uh, I'm not going to show that being done because I have a way of doing it and I show how to do it in my instructional videos. I won't be sharing that on public, so I'm going to hold off on that, but I want to get the blanket on before, before I... Uh, do much detailing on the dress I can I just got to know how much to show and how much not to show of the dress and the best way to do that is to put the blanket on it I angled her arms just a little bit different I put a little more bend in her elbows and that's to make it match the size of the uh, blanket she'll be holding the width of it anyway I'm just going to shape the arms. I'll put the detail on the arms after I get the uh, blanket on. One thing you learn as you become more experienced at sculpting is some things you don't have to spend so much time on because they'll be covered by something, clothing, blanket, whatever, drapery and you're wasting your precious time doing sculpture underneath it. Now, a lot of you who are beginning, I would recommend doing it whether it's going to be covered or not because you need all the practice you can get in sculpting the human figure, if you're doing human figures, that is.
one way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion all right I'm just uh, working on the uh, robe and uh, it's gonna take me the rest of the afternoon to <coughs> get it fleshed in but I'm liking the way it looks it's gonna be heavy though I wish I'd have made the uh, armature just a little stronger but I think it'll be fine be right back all right I got the uh, blanket uh, done on this side and I've got detailing to do on the back part but I'm liking the way it comes out and it'll be a lot easier once I put the blanket on to put the dress on because the uh, dress will lay against the uh, blanket and that way uh, I can put more detail in the dress and I could if I had it hanging out there by itself. The dress is going to go down to her feet because of the fringe. It's a Southern Cheyenne dress and uh, let me just show you real quick again. As you can see it goes right down to her feet and that gives it a nice support for the uh, weight above here and that's what I need is good support for the clay all right till tomorrow and I'm sorry I couldn't show you much of this but I do cover this in uh, at least one if not more of my uh, instructional videos that uh, that you can see in a link uh, that I have in the video description below this video where I have a review of all nine of my instructional videos. All right, everybody, that's good night, and uh, I'll pick this up uh, tomorrow. I like it. I'm liking the design. It's not a real heavy wind. It's, uh, it's a wind strong enough to move this trade blanket, and that's uh, what I wanted. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.